so now we're on to reaction number two. And here's what we did. So we made copper oxide to copper chloride. We got that. That's the greenish blue solution. So now we're going to take that solution and we're going to do a single replacement reaction, which you'll learn more about later. And we're going to add zinc. Okay, so you calculated how much zinc you need to add, and it should be about around 1.6, 1.7. So I'm going to add that, and what's going to happen is the zinc's going to switch with the copper, okay, and we'll get copper by itself, and we'll get zinc chloride, okay, as a solution. So the solution's going to go from green to clear, and you'll see that happen as I do it. Okay, so we got our blue solution now. It's really blue. We're going to add some zinc, which is clear. Okay, and what's going to happen is you're going to see the, the copper form. So the zinc's going to go away, and the z and you get a lot of bubbles. It gets pretty cloudy. You can see the purplish or the brownish mixture. stop stirring so you can get up close you can see the big chunks of zinc copper that are, are being formed there okay so we're, our solution is going to go from a greenish solution to a clear solution once all the copper has reacted so we'll let that react uh, it's a single replacement reaction and that'll give us see how much our end goal is to figure out how much copper we're going to get out of it using our stoichiometry Okay, so you can see here we got the copper is starting to settle. It's clear up top, but now we want to get that copper out of there. Okay, and how we're going to do that is called vacuum filtration. All right, so it's it's starting to settle. If you can see, oh, sorry, starting to see. So we're going to go ahead and do our next step, which is vacuum filtration. Okay, so here's what we got going on. We got this thing called a Buchner funnel. Okay, and basically what it is, it's a way to separate the solid from the liquid. Okay, so here's what this happens. We basically hook this up, okay, and it's going to collect the solid. And I weighed out this filter paper before, and basically this hose is a vacuum, and it sucks everything through. So when I turn it on, We can pull the water, we can pull anything through, we can pull the liquid through, you can see the water that I'm spraying in there go through. So what I do is we want to separate this, so I'm just going to pour the liquid through, the liquid's going to go down underneath and what we're going to do is we're going to collect the copper up top. Okay, so it's a great way for us to separate anything. That's my stir rod. I'll get that out of there. Just rinsing all the copper out. Okay, and then we want to wash it because there's a lot of hydrochloric acid on there. So what we want to do is we just want to fill it up. We want to wash it with water, get all the chlorine molecules out of there so it doesn't go back to copper chloride. All right, so I'm going to let that filter out, and we'll, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we separated the solid, so there you can see the clear... Uh, zinc chloride solution on the bottom, and then you got the copper up top. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our copper into a Petri dish. And we are going to dry it out to get a mass of it on. Get a mass. Alrighty, so I'm going to go do that. I'm going to put it in the, put it in the oven, which is right there, the big gray thing. And be back.
So we'll let that dry, and then I'll give you a, a final number on what the mass of the copper is, and we'll see if our stoichiometry has been right. That's kind of the whole goal. Okay, so then the last thing was I weighed it out after I put it in the oven, and I got 0.935, okay? The original filter paper was 0.226. So experimentally, the amount of copper that we got would be 0 0.935. 950 minus 0.2266. 0.0.708 grams of copper. So that's what we call our experimental value. So we can see how close we are to our stoichiometry value uh, with that. Okay, so we'll start talking about all the calculations, but that is the lab. Awesome job, guys.